Now, we're still dealing with splice conductors in accordance with 230.46. Now, notice up at the weatherhead, we're splicing the conductors at the weatherhead. Uh, we route those conductors down through the service raceway, and they're being spliced in the meter base. Now, as a general rule, most designers and installers consider a splice as the same size conductors. A tap, you're uh, splicing smaller conductors to larger conductors is, uh, is the way most uh, electricians and uh, designing and engineers uh, look at a splice and a tap. Now notice in the uh, gutter the wire way that you see there, uh, we're splicing there. So we may bring in uh, 350 kc mil and then we'll splice with smaller conductors to those larger conductors to feed those disconnects. Now in splicing uh, and tapping we are looking at 230.82 on the supply side. We're on the supply side there. There's not an overcurrent device ahead of those conductors with a service drop is indicated in 230.23 in that weatherhead. From that utility pole off the secondary side of the transformer, there's not an overcurrent device. So that supply all the way down into that gutter. Now, uh, we would then uh, splice, which is permissible in 230.82 of the code. But if we had a large feeder in the disconnect to the right going out, and we spliced with smaller conductors from that feeder, then that would be 240.21B as in boy. Now look at the disconnect to the left. If that disconnect uh, was uh, uh, protecting conductors routed in conduit over to a transformer, and off of the secondary side of that transformer, you tapped with transformer secondary conductors, that would be 240.21C. So we pick up those uh, tap rules uh, by those specifications. Now, if you were tapping, uh, uh, say, from the secondary side of a transformer with secondary conductors, and you happen to, to make such a, a tap, uh, was a transformer secondary conductors and a supervised industrial location. Now you would reference 240.92, C is in car, E is in ed. C, you could tap over 25 foot with transformer secondary conductors up to 100 foot. And then by the application of E uh, in 240.92, you could... Uh, tap with secondary conductors uh, any length you wanted, long as you had the formulas and, and provided the right protection. So this is where uh, the sections you would look at, 230.82 supply. Load side now uh, would be 240.21B. Coming off of the secondary side of a transformer, 240.21C or in an industrial supervised location, 240.92, C is in car, E is in ed. Now reviewing the illustration, we have up two to six disconnects, and in the NEC loop, that'd be 230.71A. They are grouped, as you see there, complying with 230.72A. Without we apply 230.90A, exception 3, in reference to uh, the way I see it, uh, exception 1 or exception 2, then 230.80, we would keep the uh, amps ratings uh, of the disconnects uh, and protect the impacity of the conductors. Now, uh, this kind of deals with sections that we would need to review and look at 
if we're making an installation, as you see in this illustration, 6-22, dealing with spliced conductors uh, from the main service conductors to each individual disconnect that you see there, that's two to six.